All right, guys, in this video, I'll show you how to input a, a PDF of a floor plan of some kind that you have printed maybe with you at the job site, how to enter it into magnet field or magnet field layout. Uh, this will be a manual input just by reading the dimensions off of the actual drawing that you I have in front of me printed or not. Obviously, over here for the sake of the video, I have it in PDF on my computer, but uh, you could have it printed in front of you. All we need is know the dimensions and the direction of where we're going. Typically, there will be angles here and there are no angles here. So these are all 90s, but if there are angles, they would be noted on the actual drawing. So let me open up Magnet Layout. All right, magnet layout, hit home. I'll make a brand new job just so that we're not using a default one. We'll call this house uh, layout. Next. You don't have to use a configuration or an optical or any instrument over here because we're just entering a plan. But if you want, you can have it say whatever you were going to be using to do the layout. Um, US feet and inches is what the drawing is in. So that's correct. Uh, my direction is not bearing, they are just directions, meaning uh, to the right is east, north is up, to the left is west, and down is south, and that's essentially what this uh, reference is, so we're fine. Next, I don't need the alarms to be on, so I'll turn those off. All right, hit the green check. Right now, uh, everything here, if I do zoom extends, this is your zoom extends to everything, there's nothing in the drawing or in the actual job. So I have to now start recreating the uh, drawing. So we'll go into, for that, we'll go into the calculate option and we'll hit the button that says enter plan. Um, the program recommends starting with point number 1000. I don't have any reason to say, mm, uh, choose something else. So I'll just leave it say 1000. And now it's asking for a, a degree or a, a direction and then a distance. So. If we start, and this is your choice, you can start anywhere you want in any of the corners here, but I'll just start at the bottom left over here. So assume that this is my point number 1000, and I'll be going east at 13 feet and 8 inches. So to go east, you can either just type in your 90, or you can just hit the plus 90 over here. That means the direction is 90. 90 is east, so that's going um, towards the right, and we need to go 13 feet and eight inches hit okay when you hit save it increments to point number 1001 doesn't show you anything on the screen and that might be disturbing until you realize that you just have to zoom into uh, the drawn feature so we'll zoom into it you see that there's point number 1000 there's point number 1001 and at the same uh angle and distance it's just projecting another point out there but we know that the next point needs to be pointing up north so going up three feet and six inches so what we'll do is we will subtract the 90 go up and we need to go uh, three feet six inches hit the green check just double check three feet six inches that way correct all right hit save now we need to go east again we're going east five feet six inches over here so let's go east uh, we'll just do five feet six inches hit save now we need to go south i believe so down seven feet six inches over here so let's do 180 and this is seven feet six inches save and uh, for the sake of the speed of the video i'll just speed the uh, uh, everything up over here but it's just rinse and repeat in the next couple of points All right, so for the sake of the exercise, we are done. What is important is uh, we ended up actually verifying our input by uh, creating point number 1011, and it should match. And the next point that we created 
would be at uh, 1012 but because we started at 1000 we should have the same values there so let me go actually edit points and just verify that point number 1000 is oh actually happens to be at 5000 5100 so your point number 1012 should be at 5000 it was meaning your input of the actual uh, line work must have succeeded successfully because everything's uh, closing if you have if you ever made a mistake you can hit the little back button back button will uh, undo your last leg unfortunately it's not easy to undo any of the legs just like that so you'll have to back 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 um, to see where you made a mistake but uh, i am done so when you hit home and you go into the plan view now you can see that there's now um an outline of the house that you're about to lay out so uh, if you need to now in this view uh, create an um, offset to the actual building itself or the building sides how you can do it there's multiple ways but this is the easiest way that I've found so I'll go and actually highlight the whole uh, feature over here and uh, let's say we need a five foot offset to the side over here right so I'll highlight it and uh, right click and now on a computer it's easy because you're just using a mouse and you're clicking the line and when you want to deselect the line you click it again with your left mouse button on a tablet you touch the line now if there's a line selected that you don't want to have selected and you have a hard time selecting it just do me a favor any of these it doesn't matter which one pick it and then deselect it again that deselects anything that you might have had in there so uh, I know I need to select the actual line it is selected once it's selected I can right click on a tablet you would hold your finger down directly on it not on the side but actually on the line work itself so you right click and you will create an offset to the polyline that you're creating so I'll do an offset and I'll do a left offset uh, and we'll do a five foot offset over here and we never know which direction it is in until you actually kind of do a preview of it so we'll do it's this would be inside offset we want to do an outside offset so this that's correct that's five feet hit create close it draws a line that is five feet off the actual uh, uh, um, footprint of the building now if you want to create and you see that the line still uh, selected so again if you want to deselect it just click any point and it'll deselect it so this is now an offset which is five feet off from every side of the actual building there is a weird uh, loop de loop over here but we really don't care about this uh, feature over here because it is not something that we will be uh, looking at um, we need to now create the five foot offset in line for example with uh, your with a front and the back of the building so if this is the front of the building and we need to do a five foot offset to the side in line with the front and five foot offset in line with the left of the building also five feet off what you can do is you can hit this create point uh, option feature and you will be snapping to intersecting lines and the intersecting lines are something that you will have to select when you click this so I'm clicking the create point and then the intersecting lines option and I'll say okay in order to create the five foot offset for this wall over here or this side of the building this is already at five feet so that's correct but we need to be in line with the front of the building so I will select this line and then I'll select this line and what it does is you see that it actually projects a point right here co called 1012 I'll do the same thing for the point on the right so we'll go um, intersect lines front of the building and the five foot offset over here once again you'll see that there is my point that is exactly five feet off from uh, the, the, the left side of the building and uh, five feet off from the left uh, the right oh backwards from so uh, five foot to the right of the right side and uh, five feet to the left of the left side of the building in line with the front we'll do the same thing in the back over here so we need to be in line with the back of the building on this five foot offset line awesome so we have a point there and then we are going to create another one where uh, this is our main line and we need to project this line essentially right here so we'll just making sure that I'm picking the right line here so now we have four points each point 
is uh, going to be uh, utilized for setting up your instrument if you have that kind of uh, instrumentation or uh, information given to you by uh, the surveyor or whoever gave you control typically uh, this might be it but uh, now you can if you want you can actually get rid of your line work if it's too busy you can right click that line and actually delete the line and it'll delete the line but your points will stay there so you only have the points that are offset to the side five feet off of the main building in line with whichever side of uh, the building you actually need and uh, now uh, you can proceed and actually set your instrument up on these points these points have values on them so if you click them and right click them information will show you what the coordinates are um, which means anytime you're now going to set up your instrument maybe via resection via uh, the routine that's called um, reference points or you do an occupied point where you actually set up on one of those points uh, it should now be able to the program will be able to reference those points that you just calculated and you should be able to start laying out all right hopefully this was a useful video if you have any questions or comments leave them below